Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I just wanted to do a quick little swatch slash demo of the new Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick in Amorosa, which is 36NP. Let me take the fingerprints off of this. This is the new uh, lipstick that she launched for Valentine's Day. I don't own any of the Natasha Denona lipsticks. So when I saw this, number one, the packaging, please. But the color is right up my alley. So from the pictures, this is kind of like a purpley uh, nude kind of uh, lipstick. I mean, can we just with this hot pink packaging i was discussing with one of my friends esther that i have a really unhealthy obsession with lipstick so i buy a lot of lipstick granted i use it but i try to have self-control but yet here i am buying yet another one so kind of just want to show you it is uh, a magnetic closure and this is what the lipstick looks like. Is that beautiful or what? So besides the lipstick, I also did purchase the one of her lip liners. And this one is, this lip liner is called Natasha. And the numerical name is NP1. So I thought this would be a nice color to go with the Amarosa uh, lipstick. So it's a pretty basic nude. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this on the back of my hand. Very neutral. I thought it would go really nice with the lipstick. Like I said, these are my first Natasha Denona lipstick purchases i did get this from sephora let me go ahead and uh swatch this lipstick on the back of my hand and this is amorosa swatched right next to the natasha lip liner so i'm gonna go ahead and try on both of these on camera for you guys Okay, so the formula of this lip liner is super soft. This texture reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. I definitely gravitate towards nudes that have like a purpley mauvey undertone and then now let's go in with the lipstick I mean I love this packaging so much I wish all of her lipsticks came in this hot pink packaging I hope she comes out with a lipstick in this packaging every year for Valentine's Day. Very creamy. Blends perfectly with that lip liner. So it's not drying. I'm not exactly sure if this is a matte shade. It feels like a satin finish, honestly. I mean, just look at that. I'm very pleased with this color. I love it. If you guys got your hands on this, please leave me a comment down below with your thoughts. I would love to know. Uh, moving right along, the other product I did want to show you guys uh, was the new Pat McGrath Liquid Lipstick in Divine Nude. Can we just admire this packaging for a second? 
I mean, between Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this on the back of my hand next to Amarosa so you guys can kind of um, compare the two because these, the colors, these colors are very similar. Doesn't smell like anything. And that is Divine Nude. A little bit more mauve than Amarosa. I don't own any of the Pamagraph liquid lipsticks, so this is the first one that I've purchased. I heard that she had some of these in the past, so if you guys own the old ones, give me your thoughts. And let me go ahead and try this on. So already, just to let you know, this is a very thin formula. Typical from a li liquid lipstick standpoint. Sorry, I have a mirror over here, which is much larger than the viewfinder. Easier for me to see. So this is with one coat, but I want to get that even coat on my top lip. So like I said, this is just a demo. I can't review this because I've never, literally never used this before. It's my first time using these products. But this is what it looks like. They are very similar, these two, in shade. So you definitely wouldn't need to pick up both. I picked up both because I'm not well and I can't have enough nude lipsticks. So if you have the same condition I do, I support your life decisions. Do you boo, okay? But you definitely, these are so similar, you definitely don't need both of them. This one I think is a little bit more mauve than the Natasha Denona. The Natasha Denona I think is a bit more you know, brown, but n n brown, pink, nude. And this has definitely more of a lavender undertone than Amarosa. But definitely they're beautiful shades. I picked them, uh, I picked these three lip products at, up at Sephora, uh, but they do have them obviously on the Natasha Denona site, um, Beautylish, uh, Pat McGrath has her own website as well, but I don't know if Beautylish sells Pat McGrath. I'm not sure. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick little demo slash swatches of these new lipsticks that just came out for uh, the Valentine's Day season. I kind of wanted to show you guys in case you guys wanted to pick it up because I do not know if these are limited edition products. I know that this lip liner from Natasha Jenna is not. This is part of her permanent I need a nude uh, lip liner or I need, I need a nude lip crayon collection. Uh, this retailed for $22 and these two lipsticks, I can't quite remember what they retailed for, but I will insert the retail value in the screen down below. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on these lipsticks and if you've picked them up. Uh, before I let you go, this has already completely dried down and it's very matte and it's very dry. I have a feeling this is gonna be very drying on my lips from what I can already tell. So I think I'm gonna have to wear either a lip balm on top of this or some sort of gloss, depending on what kind of look I'm going for. I love a good matte liquid lipstick, uh, especially now that we have to wear masks, 
but uh, when my lips are too dry, this is definitely not something I will be reaching for. And if I do, I will definitely have to have a gloss with me handy to just give my lips a little bit of moisture. Yeah, it is a very dry formula. Let me get up close so you guys can see. It's a typical uh, liquid lipstick. So if you guys don't like the drying aspect of a liquid lipstick, I think you can leave this. You're not gonna need it. Just go ahead and pick up the Natasha Denona Amorosa because this is much more moisturizing. It has a satin finish, so you kind of get the best of both worlds. All right, guys, I'm, I'm seriously gonna stop this video now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.